If you're concerned about your kidney's health and you are wondering, worrying about like a what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat for your kidney health because kidney disease is one of the life-threatening disease that is very very deadly. So this is the five things that you should avoid for your kidney. Hi everyone, welcome back to our lovely channel Triple H how to be happy and healthy and here i'm dr hans as a nutritionist and now i'm gonna talk about the five things you should never feed your kidneys things or food maybe you are like wondering why i say things rather than food because in this video i will let you know this this is not only about foods but also about another things that you should watch it out what is that Firstly, I want to talk about like uh, what is the main function of our kidney because like uh, many people just know about kidneys just for filtering things, filtering blood, filtering water and etc. And actually our kidney has many functions. What is that? Yes, the first thing it's like a uh, filtering our blood. So it's like uh, if we have like um, the kidney damage or kidney disease, that's why we need to do like a uh, kidney dialysis to like uh, help our kidneys to filter blood. Then the second thing is it's also regulating your electrolytes. So electrolytes is not just about like a sodium, but it's also about like a potassium, chloride, then any kind of like a micronutrients in our body that like works for our electrolytes, also phosphorus. Then the, the third thing is like uh, regulating our pH. So our pH in our blood, in our urine especially, is like regu regulated by our kidneys. Then what other else? It's regulating our blood pressure. So like uh, no wonder why if people who have like a uh, kidney damage, they oftentimes got also the problem with their blood pressure especially high blood pressure so it's like a really correlated and one of another can affect each other so like uh, people who have like a high blood pressure they oftentimes got the problem in their kidney and vice versa people who have like a kidney damage they are like hardly to maintain their blood pressure normally and the last but not least it's also affected our production of red blood cell why because in our kidneys we have like a erythropoietin hormone which is this hormone is also like a have the role to production like a, in produce our red blood cell so like a go straight forward to our topic why we do need to maintain our kidney health because like if we have like a suboptimal it's not like a I'm not talking about like a kidney damage, like a chronic kidney disease in a, like a fourth stadium. No, but if you have like a suboptimal function of your kidney, it's all it can it can relate to negative impact of your health in any kind of condition. So what you need to avoid, and and here I'm not talking about like a people who who already have chronic kidney damage or chronic kidney disease but i'm talking about like what you need to avoid when you are in a metabolically healthy what you need to prevent when your kidney is still like a, in a healthy state first what you need to avoid is yes like as you guess sugar yeah and what i mean about sugar here is not just about like a sucrose or like a table sugar that you know like a, the white poisonous and like a very clean smooth no it's not only sugar in the in the form of white sugar but also brown sugar liquid sugar like uh, any kind of sugar and also honey yeah it's also sugar in different form like uh, agave nectar what you call like a fructose syrup uh, it's even worse but any kind of sugar it could make like uh, your high blood glucose effect and high blood glucose effect it could be damaging your nephron so nephron is like uh, the cell the packet of the cell that has a function to filter 
any kind of things that I mentioned it before. So your your blood, your electrolytes, and etc. All like uh, filtered by neurons. So we have like a million or trillions ne neuron in our kidneys, and it's like really sensitive to high blood glucose. And that's why many people like uh, who have like a neuron damage, they will develop like a chronic kidney disease in the long term. Then polycystic kidney damage as well like a uh, many many damaging in the in their in their kidney by like uh, having many cystic in their kidney so what is the example of like a uh, sugar that i mean first like a uh, fruit juice yes maybe you think that fruit juice is healthy D don't you think that like a uh, fruit juice is like uh, always healthy like uh, apple juice orange juice like a uh, what is called watermelon juice and etc when you choose your fruit it will have like only sugar or mostly sugar so it doesn't mean that like i'm saying that fruit is unhealthy but when you process your fruit into juice not smoothie because smoothie and juice like they they are different so but when you when you process your fruit into juice they will have like mostly or mainly sugar the second thing, like uh, many people love it, like uh, biscuits, cookies, even salad dressing. That that's it. Th this is the thing that you need to be aware of as well, because many people like uh, eating salad and they think that they, they are eating healthy. But unfortunately, when you eat your salad with a high sugar salad dressing, uh, just just name it like a ranch dressing, Caesar dressing, maybe like uh, the common dressing that you bought, also the store bought sauces that you buy uh, in your supermarket like a uh, tomato sauce teriyaki sauce like a uh, sweet sweet chili sauce and etc like uh, they have hidden sugar maybe you you don't feel like uh, i don't eat i don't add any sugar in my food but that's highly sugar already okay the second things that you need to avoid is like a high carbs food what do I mean about like a high carbs? Like a, doesn't doesn't it like a same as sugar? No, because not all carbs are sugar. Like what I said, like in my in my previous video, like a high carbs is not only sugar. If you eat like a like a whole grain bread that many people think that it's it's like a healthy bread, then whole wheat pasta because it's whole wheat is like a low in glycemic index doesn't mean it will not spike your insulin and yes the problem about people who eat like a high carbs diet they will develop like hyper insulinemia and hyper insulinemia it will it will affect your kidney by making like your kidney damage and also it will make your blood pressure high or you will get high blood pressure it's like a like what i said before it's like a correlation like it's like a affecting each other by by what by what because like if you eat like a high carbs it will retain water and when and when it, it retain your water it will make your blood volume getting high and it will make you getting high blood pressure so if you eat like a sugar-free cereal like uh, if you think like um this is sugar-free so it must be safe uh unfortunately it's not yeah because what because like a uh, sugar-free doesn't mean it carbs free okay the third things is alcohol why doesn't doesn't it like uh if, if we drink in a moderation or we drink wine it's like a uh, good for our health well until now uh, i couldn't find yet like uh, there is no research that can say scientifically proven that alcohol give like a good impact in our health maybe i think it's good impact for your psychology but like, in your mental for your mood like uh, is out your problem in like uh, one night but not in the long run because what because alcohol can increase your blood pressure like i mentioned it many times it can make like uh, you de dehydration because what because it can like uh, act like a diuretic then the third thing it has like a direct toxicity by their byproduct the fourth thing that i want to mention is food additives yes food additives now is everywhere you can find it in a, your a supermarket ale and etc because what because food additives can can trigger oxidative 
stress, which is this oxidative stress can develop into inflammation in our kidney. So what is what I mean about food additives? The first thing is artificial sweetener, then emulsifier, food enhancer, then natural flavor, then like a many kind of like a toxic in our food now just claim as food additive, food enhancer. So this is like uh, the things that you need to avoid when you think about like a ah, it's okay it's like a low calorie it's like a gluten-free biscuit or gluten-free cookie but again it's not just about calorie but also what is inside it the ingredients that they made for their products and last but not least that you need to avoid to maintain your kidney health this is not food but this is like the drugs that like are often link being abused what is that? NSAIDs. Yes, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Like a painkiller, ibuprofen, like acetaminophen, and etc. This is a drugs that like often abuse like a maybe if you don't consult to your doctor you just feel that like a, you have like a back pain you want to relieve your pain then you just take it like a daily in the long term it could affect your kidney health as well and it could make your kidney damage because what because nsaid is like a, it works by reducing your blood flow it constrict your blood vessel then it could trigger inflammation as well maybe you think that the nsaid is like to like um, reduce your inflammation in your other body part but it can inflame your kidney yes and last it also have direct toxicity just like alcohol if you abuse it it doesn't mean that i am saying that you couldn't take NS nsaid when you when you need it but if you want to take it consult first to your physician to your doctor does do you do you really need it and like uh, how long do you can you can you take your your drugs your your nsaid because this medication if you take it like uh, in a long term it could affect your kidney so last but not least what we need to do what we need to maintain to keep our kidney in check rather than check like just uh, checking your blood test doing your blood work is also important but overall what you need to do, what you need to do is first please maintain your insulin level yes i'm not why why do why don't i say like uh, maintain your blood glucose because blood glucose is like the end stage or like the end product of your insulin level if you if you can mean if you can maintain your insulin level good like a, in a in a smooth way you will not end up with a high blood glucose so that's why you need to maintain your insulin level so don't focus on your blood glucose first before you focus on your insulin level by doing what first by doing low carb diet well maybe you you often heard about like a People always say that people always like a demonize like a don't eat high protein diet but until now there is no scientific evidence that can prove that high protein diet can damage your kidney it doesn't mean if you if you are already in a chronic kidney disease it will have like a totally different treatment like a because like a people who already have who already develop chronic chronic disease they couldn't eat like a high protein but it doesn't mean that high protein cause chronic kidney damage or kidney damage so you need to you need to understand this this term because like a uh, people often get it wrong so because people just think of, oh if people who already have like a chronic kidney disease they couldn't eat high protein so high protein like uh, the one that causes kidney damage no it's not it's not like that because correlation does not mean causation okay so you need to eat low carb diet to maintain your insulin level so and and the second thing you need to eat less frequent by doing what fasting so if you are like um interested in like uh, what what kind of fasting that i need to do like you can comment it below and i will discuss i will talk i will share about like uh, the fasting that i do until now as well 
The second thing is avoid ultra processed food or AKA junk food. Yeah, again, it's not about calories. So it's more about like uh, the toxic, the chemical substance that like uh, inside your junk food, inside the ultra processed food. So even though it's like uh, sugar free or gluten free or maybe like uh, any kind of free, but you should to pay attention with the chemical substance that they use. So you need to choose a whole food or maybe like a less processed food to maintain your kidney health. And the third thing, the last thing is manage your stress level. Yes, manage your stress level. Everyone in our life, like uh, everybody like experience stress, I experience stress as well, but how you manage it, it's more important, way more important. Because what? Because if you maintain your stress level, it can maintain your hormonal level, your your metabolism in your body, because your metabolism can affect it by many hormonal, include cortisol, the stress hormone that you often heard. So how to do it? First, do exercise. So exercise is not to burn your calorie, but to maintain your metabolism by reducing your stress. And the second, improve your sleep quality. Because when you sleep, when you get like a fully recover, it can also like a boost or like a fix your broken metabolism or your soul metabolism, not by drinking alcohol to ease out your stress, but to improve your sleep. So here is all the summary, all the wrap for my explanation today about like a how to keep your kidney in check in health. And I'm Dr. Hans, stay fit and stay healthy.